this a little bit of turnip microgreens. Something I'm trying out here. I'll try two different ways. This one I'm going to use just a little container that you can get at your local dollar store, grocery store, or wherever. Got two of them. One of them I'm going to leave whole. The other one, and I got my solder iron out. I made small holes all over it. And we're going to try. I have another one that I didn't put holes in it. <clears throat> it's just right on. All it has is the dirt on top of the uh, on top of the co coconut core, which this isn't core. Uh, it's actually the the uh, This uh, little thing that you can get for a couple dollars at the at anywhere that sells plants and stuff. You can put your plants in, and I just used a good pair of scissors, cut out a nice little square or rectangle for it that would fit. We're going to put all that together in here. Put some water. Get that well soaked. Put this right up here into the tried to have everything ready, but I guess I didn't. I'm gonna put this just right into it and then add the dirt around it. Add some wet dirt. The holes are gonna let a lot of that water drain out, but hopefully that'll help soak some of it up and uh, distribute it back into this. Uh, the dirt is just a bag of in-ground dirt, organic, and some hummus, humus, or peat moss. Uh, each one's just a couple or a few dollars per bag, and you get plenty of it, so this is a very small amount of it to do this. Uh, I'm going to put it all on top, almost up to the edge, doing microgreens. want to leave a little bit of room so it don't we're pulling out all the dirt when we start harvesting in a couple of few weeks. And we'll go ahead and get all that pushed in. Put the water on it. So I don't want to have to do this after I've got the seeds in there. I don't want them to all be going everywhere. Just let the water soak in and drain through. Probably would have sat and kind of mixed that up and made mud normally, but just want to see how this works out with this one since I didn't have to worry about the drainage under it. Put it on and it should drain through. We still hadn't even drained as much as we had there. So, plenty of water. And when we do water this, after the sprouts get going. We will water from the bottom. We'll just pick this up, put some water down there, and let it handle it that way. It'll soak it back up through there. Don't know if that coconut's gonna coconut hair is gonna help any. So we use and took one of these tops and just cut all the edges off and the little nibs at the bottom and all around the edge. Just right into the corner there. Be careful with that. Use that to kind of flatten it out. We'll also use it when we're done to push everything down. So get a nice little flat medium there. And the first one I put a tablespoon a half a tablespoon, put a half tablespoon of seed. It seemed to be a little bit overdone, over heavy. So I'm going to try a good heap in a teaspoon this time. Just a little extra there in the teaspoon. You can always add a little more, stop and put it back. 
put that all over the place nice and thick. Make sure it's covered. If it's not, we'll get a little bit more. So a teaspoon seems to be a, a tablespoon seems to be a little too much. A teaspoon might not be quite enough. So we'll put a good teaspoon plus just a hair all over. And that seems to be covering about like we want it. Not quite as overdone as the tablespoon was on the other one. Again, we're doing this one the exact same way, except for I have the holes in one to let the water through, and the water from the bottom. The other one I'll have to water from the top, or ever from the edge. And what we'll do is set this back on here, kind of give it a little pressure, and I'm going to take this in where it's warm for a couple days, because this breezeway is a little cool. And we'll let the sprouts get started from ins inside where it's warm. And we'll bring it back out and see how that does. We'll compare the two on the next video. Uh, just a little bit of turnip seed, pretty cheap. Go down to your seed store, anywhere that sells it bulk. A little bit of hummus, humus, and dirt. Get your little container, little lunch container from wherever you get them. And you got the uh, coconut stuff, like a coconut bowl, coconut hair bowl, coconut core. And also going to try to find some coconut core that I'll think I'll like. Do a little try with it. Uh, for now though, that only took a few minutes, but we will try to get back and follow up on this one. Um, microgreens number two. Thanks for watching.